Well, we're off to Gooding. Is that right? We're going to Gooding? Yes. We're going to go to Gooding for the uh, private tour. Uh, we'll get some footage. I doubt they'll let us fly the drone. So, probably not going to fly the drone. Besides, the drone batteries didn't recharge after flying it early this morning. Uh, but, um, so we still have one battery. And did I tell you they're going to maybe send me two free batteries? Yeah, so, on top of the $269 value in the drone we got, we're going to get two free batteries at basically another $100 for free. Well, that was a different deal, though. I know, but it's still, it's the luck continues on the drone. Mm -hmm. so anyways, I haven't crashed it. That's really good. We're going out to Gooding. We'll see y'all there. Here we are, walking into Gooding. There's the FJ-40. We're here with our long-term friend, Nicole and uh, Marquetta, and I keep forgetting that, but uh, uh, we've uh, known them for years. They've been so gracious and uh, been a great host uh, to us to all these events, and we've had insurance with them, and they've just uh, done a fine job all the way around. And, uh, at one time, they had a table or a booth at the Pebble Beach that was to buy for them. Sit down. And <laughs> really well, you anyway. have to walk so much. You need a place to sit. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's been good knowing them, and we're going to introduce them to Paul in a minute. But um, I just wanted to uh, say something about uh, how great they are and how great they are to work with. And then I want to let Nicole talk a little about herself. Oh, going on the Thanks, Jim. You've been a great friend to Chubb for these many years. And um, what would you like to know about Chubb? We're here at the Gooding Auction, where the insurance sponsor Chubb Collector Car Insurance, uh, where we specialize in agreed value coverage and ease of doing business. If you have a claim, it's going to be settled in house by Chubb. You were saying that uh, your parents bought one of these new? Yeah, this exact color combination. Could be this exact car. I don't know. I don't know there's was a star chief or a chief. I just remember as a kid admiring the Indian head. You, you little, have one of those, don't you? Yes. I think I have a 56. It's a little more elaborate. Hmm. It's good old memories. That's what it's all about. You know, I still prefer these 66 to the 67s. Well, I love the hood on the I just think they're much better looking. The side pipes, knockoffs, which became illegal. Well, the knockoffs are really legal. I know you don't get the extra horse, but it's got to be a better looking car. Oh, this one is really, really rare because they only made 454 Corvettes for about six months and then discontinued and knocked them down to 425 volts. Hmm. I don't know what they did, they detuned it a little bit. The 450 horse, 425 horse, the highest horsepower, and the best solid electrics.
worn out from looking at all the cars? Back cars are a little in too old for this, huh? Big too big a stomach. Look at it. All right, well, better late than never. We had a little bit of rest and did some work from the house, and now we are off to the Barrett Jackson, right? Right. And that is all the way up in Westworld. Not the HBO Westworld, but the Scottsdale Westworld, which they've built a structure now for the Barrett Jackson. Barrett Jackson. Previously, they just had, well, how big was the tent they had? Well, it's huge tents. They, the second smaller tent they used the DI ice jet uh, liners, and so, so then they got a bigger tent and put that in the middle of the smaller tent. Uh, and split the smaller tent. It'd be in small on each side. term there. So now you, they're back to the main tent that you see on television. It's now a building, isn't it? Uh, That's a building. The tent is uh, a mile long chuck full of cars and mostly vendors. Well, didn't they do the building and then have the tents kind of? stick out the ends of the building just one side and then they have an entrance tent uh, for the general parking on the north side that isn't uh, but probably an eighth of a mile long mm. <laughs> they're just everything's huge here out here mm. well so we'll be out there shortly you'll see us walk the perp walk <laughs> Can you believe back in the day, Dad, we were able to rent a golf cart of our very own? They still can. Yeah, for big money. The bigger problem is there's no place to park. And they get, yeah. And this is a shuttle golf cart here. Is it? Yeah, here, it let's is. go into the end here. These are usually all the cars that just sold. This tent's new. No, they they usually they usually have this. This is the cars that are just sold. Usually, they bring them out here for people to view. So a lot of these just went across the block. Place store. That's why I understood they used to be used for this spot. Yeah, they also sold nothing. Oh, that Chevelle? Yeah. Is that a 71? 70. Tail by the tail lights. And you had we had a 72, right? So now we're entering the um, what do they call it? The pavilion? Is that what we're calling it these days? I'll call this the tent. No, the well this is the mark some of the marquee cars. There it is. This is the tent that was cut in half. Slant nose. First impressions, a lot of shiny cars. Yeah, look at that ruby red. Oh my goodness. What quality paint on this guy? Oh man, Dad, I I, I think this is what you. I mean, that's just beautiful. Look at this LS in there, and look at the paint on this. That's just stunning. LS three inch, 465 feet, 425 feet of torque. Yeah, but I think this every day. Ski right in the back of the 63 split in there. That's a hurt. I think we just saw the most unique car we've seen in a long time here at the Barrett. We always are surprised. What do you think well, of that ski Corvette that you could rent first from Hertz? First of all, I didn't even know Hertz had such a thing. Or Corvette. On a Corvette. Yeah, I mean, 63. And then they have ski racks on it. And on a 63. And split window, ultra rare. So. It's just amazing. It's learned something new every time. All the cars in the world I've seen, that's the first one. <laughs> that's crazy. 
That's impressed us the most so far. Oh, absolutely. Cars aren't your cup of tea here at the bar. Well, you can get a hot tub or a jukebox or headphones or a tabletop flame thing or chess. The point is they've even got beds, feet things, too much stuff that isn't cars in some people's opinions, mainly ours. Not enough art for cars, car related stuff. It's, it's, it's whatever, it's a, it's a fair. We've made it through the onslaught of vendors into the Primo area. Yeah, look at all these. We'll have to come back and get more Eleanor. Across some Mustangs, we have Five, six, seven, Now, supposedly, Craig Jackson, Barry Jackson, made a million dollars off the revenue or profit of million dollars in profit off all their merchandising last auction. T top. Yeah, that's Eight, something you don't... No, it goes on. There's three more. Yeah, the salon, that's what we're calling it. Oh, here's the uh, cutaway. Oh, look at this. Now, this thing's neat. What do you think of that? Well, if anything in the auction I'd like to buy, it would be better. I don't think 10,000 will even scratch the surface. <laughs> Good thing to it's more, I'll predict 40,000. Yeah, oh, sounds God. reasonable. Given the, you see it in person, I'd, I'd go with them near that. That's, that's something we knew about. We wish we could maybe uh, take a stab at it. Oh, Jim just called me. It's been good. Uh, large collection, the Doug Cotty collection. Um, over 1,600 items. So, 1,600. So second largest Bear Jackson ever. And actually largest for cars. We have 1,800 cars. So, 1,800, isn't it? 1,800 cars. Gosh, I thought it was only 12. And almost all at no reserve, so. Yeah. Well, the auction prices. I mean, well, for the memorabilia. It's been like this. Because it's a no reserve sale. Yeah. So that's why it's like this. The memorabilia. Yeah, the memorabilia. So, uh, guns, I mean, you know, there's bargains everywhere and there's stuff bringing some really strong money. And just typical auction. So, but now, since you're here, now it's going to get strong. <laughs> Buyers well, I got to get out to get here. Yeah. Well, I just and love I got... your motto of. You know, I'm spending my kids' inheritance. That's a great model. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, I'll make my own. All right, I'm going to head out to meet up with a friend of ours who's got a car here in the auction. We're going to shoot some video and we'll talk with him about it. Uh, top tip as well here. You know, if you're at the auctions and you get overwhelmed in the big tent, they do have this little side venue just outside of the uh, big top uh, where they have a screen. It's a lot quieter. It's probably 30, 40 decibels quieter. Um, so, yeah. We just got done filming the segment with Mr. Wicks and we're walking back through all the vendors. It's, oh my God, there's a lot of them, but probably only a couple worth checking out if you're a real car guy. And one of those is, again, is hosted by a guy by the name of Steve Austin. And if you're into car art, he's the guy to see at these events. And we'll try and get a conversation with him later about his stuff, whether it's the Teslas again. But um, it's busy here and this is Wednesday. Um, I say it's busy. It's busy for a Wednesday. Tomorrow's gonna be nuts. Friday's gonna be crazy. Saturday is insane with the number of people. So I probably won't be able to film as much as I am now. I want to check out this Shelby though. It seems of uh, somewhat importance here. So we got 67 GT500 blue, no stripes. 
Leah has been told to have a gander at her. Now, Lee, of course, had a successful day with Shops. This is lot 1443.1 on Saturday. Now, this section of cars is the, um, the salon, so it's kind of more of the high end, definitely reserved. Uh, but there you go. C7 Shelby GT500. Perhaps back again. Air book off information out. This is what you expect to see at these auctions is the car, documentation, and perhaps a poster. Very well done there. Uh, on the other side of it, we have some, some Corvettes. And believe it or not, I, I absolutely love the hoods of 63. Some people hate them. I love them. I think they're beautiful. I think it's a little bit uh, of a resto, but uh, in fact, this is a resto, but that hood is probably, uh, this is a 63, and this one's got the same taste as me. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, got a, it's got the roof for it. I love the hood. more impressive the colors or the blower colors or the blower yeah. I wonder if it's a 65 uh, when you think about uh, early 66 Donahue is this is actually something that's new is a video a 24 hour Daytona uh, followed up by a very successful 12 hours of Sebring catches the eye of Ford Motor Company and he signed right then for the Le Mans program uh, one of the co-drivers in the Le Mans program is tragically killed smart. in a racing accident. Donahue's at the funeral. He runs into Penske. He meets Penske, rather, and Penske signs him on a on a uh, race by race basis. So all of that is going on while this car is put together and assembled. I like that. Uh, for his friend, she's been good to me over the years, so I bought her. So the salon cars are the cream of the crop. Sometimes people get recruited to bring them. Um, if you get a car in the salon, then you're going to be banking on a Saturday slot. These are prime time cars. And here's another example of a Marty report uh, for a Boss 429 here. And I think this is the one that I was talking with another gentleman about. Uh, we have one of these, in fact, we have a 70, and this is a 69. Dead giveaway is the uh, emblem on the side. They only made Boss 429s in 69 and 70. 69s are a lot more desirable, but uh, that's only because it was the first year and there were less of them, from what I understand. You gotta love that GT with the split window roof, the T tops. Ford GTX number one, a GTX one. Rare Ford GTX, one of a few roadster conversions produced by Ford. It was introduced by Ford at the 2005 SEMA. One of Ford GT engineers kept doing it. Oh, Burgundy Boss. And I wonder if this is. The one that set the record about 10, 12 years ago. I'll have to check. It could be. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, a Burgundy or a Candy Apple Red Boss, about 12 years ago, sold for 400. No, it was Maroon. This isn't the car. Anyways, a Maroon Boss did sell at this auction about 14, 12 years ago for over 450 million plus the 20% customary uh, commission. 10 on the buyer, 10 on the seller. So perhaps that'll come close, but not likely. The bosses have tailed off in recent years. I just love the livery golf colors. The golf liveries are the best, especially on the Ford GTs. Oh, here's yet another red, candy apple red Boss 429. 
Hey, there's Jim. What's hey, up, John? Jim? What are you doing I'm there? I'm just admiring these, uh, these candy apple red boss nines. Well, we had two white ones here, and I don't know where the there's other white, one white disappeared. There. Yeah, that's, uh, that one belongs to one of my clients. Oh, does it? Uh, out here with that one. It's probably one of the best original sheet metal cars in America. Yeah, it looked really good. I doubt you want to go talk about it. Uh, yeah, you want uh, to. got a few minutes. I'm getting thirsty, so we, yeah, we I know you're beer. busy. Well, I need a beer. Uh, you, wanna, uh, you, you want me to buy you a beer? I can buy you a beer. I They're real expensive. Get a beer cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, look at the uh, Here, go the ahead. The thing about that car is, uh, if you look, we've got beers to uh, accent the, the floor pans. Oh, yeah. With that, that See is, if I can get uh, in on that. That's just the original floor pans <laughs> as they were with no undercoating on them. They just cleaned up with simple soap and water. It's no undercoating on yet. these? That's the uh, dunk gray finish that uh, yeah. Ford used. As a, as a huh. primer. Why would they not get the? Uh, I mean, that's a factory usually instead yeah, of that options. Yeah, exactly but. as they did. And uh, undercoat was always a dealer option. Mm -hmm. And dealers made more money selling undercoat than they did about anything else that they sold. Yeah. They put three dollars worth of undercoat in that day and charged you about uh, seventy-five dollars. Sounds about right. Anyway, but. Uh, this is really, really a great car. It's matching numbers, everything. Uh, all of the original parts, uh, no reproduction pieces. It uh, has the original interior. Uh, and it's beautiful. Yeah, I was just actually come over here and looked at the Marty report. We were talking about that, but uh, there she is in all her glory, the Boss 429, with not enough room for but a small hand. Thank goodness the uh, spark plugs are in the top of the head. No, no kidding. And we'll have to uh, we'll have to do a Boss Nine special one of these days. You know, film some. We get Greg. Maybe we can get Greg involved or something. Because uh, he's of course the boss man, right? This is a beautiful car, Jim. Folks, that does it for day uh, one for us. Wednesday, and according to the Bear Jackson schedule, was his day three. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon. We're going to try and go to r &M and uh, then uh, be uh, here. We also have uh, our uh, Gooding uh, as well tomorrow. We have a 10 o'clock. Don't forget, Dad, we have the, the Insider Seminar tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So we're going to do that tomorrow at 10, and then to r &M and then probably here to this in the evening again like we've done so from barrett jackson in scottsdale arizona westworld see you later well our first day at the auctions is uh it's completed um, i still think the best most interesting thing we saw today hands down aside One, from mr wicks's cars two three ski the rack 63 corvette. corvette split rental with ski rack I was never just say, ever seen ski rack Corvette. Yes. Hertz ski rack Corvette. A Hertz rental car with snow tires as a Corvette. Oh, and as the 63 with split window. I don't think it gets rarer than a split window 63 Corvette with snow tires, let alone with a added ski rack by Hertz rental car. That'd be interesting to watch that car hammer down. I, uh, that really I would drives have to think crazy. that's a $60,000 plus premium. If that. So, uh, with that said, tomorrow we've got uh, the uh, Insiders Club at Gooding at 10 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 9.30. And then we have uh, possibly RM with our new friend from Montreal. Uh, and then I guess uh, RM for a while and perhaps Barrett in the evening or Gooding in the evening. Well, uh, Gooding starts, no, RM starts the auction Thursday, Gooding starts Friday. Gooding's Friday, RM's Thursday, Third, tomorrow's Thursday. We're gonna check that out. Um, big thanks to Mr. Wicks for his time this evening. Uh, we'll try and talk about his cars in the immediate uh, with the first post as a thank you to him for spending the time with us today. Uh, with that said, we're gonna head home and go to bed because it's we're tired. It's uh, 11 o'clock to us uh, and we've been forced out of the building. Thank you for watching. 